Okay, so this time we have got a bulldog clip. I've just put some blue tack on the bottom and stuck that down to the desk. I just put a little bit of blue tack on the top, it just helps the ruler to grip. Okay, but I don't want too much there so it sticks. And I have got a metal ruler. Metal rulers are good. Probably got a bit too much on there, so just flatten that out a bit. And then I'm just going to get that to balance on there. There we go. So we've got that to balance. That's fine. So there's a conversation to have about where it will balance the centimetre ruler, and yep, it's around about the 15 centimetre mark. Got lots of 10 gram masses. And the challenge is, can I put one mass on there and two masses on this side uh, and make them balance? So I'm going to put that one on there, number two grams on there. And yeah, that's more or less balanced. Can I put a third weight on this and still make it balance? And again, get students to play about with this and what's going to happen. And we can, we're beginning to get moments getting to play about with this. The challenge is, what's the biggest differential between the number of weights I've got on this side and the number of weights I've got on this side? They're going to be the winners. So set a competition up and see what students do. Uh, some students will do this sort of thing. Keep moving those closer. There you are. We're more or less still balanced there. Uh, if I put another one on, oh, there you are. That goes. Uh, just to see what students come up with, how they approach this task. Don't tell them too much, uh, just let them ask questions and then you can have class discussions about how can we set up this experiment such that we can have the fewest number of uh, masses on this side and the greatest number of masses on this side.